Hey guys, welcome to the Tea Travel. I'm Natasha King from Beijing Tours, and I'm coming to you from Beijing Tourist. I'm located in the island that is a favorite of my local and visitors alike. Today, we will be visiting the Chinese aka Red Man, a fisherman who has been meeting the seafood needs of people across this island for the last 35 years. Is that six bumps? Hmm? Take over the smaller one. All right, you got seven. Meet Cornelius. Affectionately called Red Man by most, he has become a part of the fabric of the Oysters fish market. It was during his youth when he would buy fish hair and swim off the jetty that he got his introduction to the industry by the older guys who taught him how to clean fish. Although he didn't set out to have a career in the fishing industry, for Redman, the journey has been a good one. And after three decades in, the Oyston's fish market has become a second home to the popular vendor, who owns his own boat and employs several people. This is where it all started. And as you said there earlier, and it is home as well. Because you spend most of your time here than the original home. <laughs> you know, you just sleep there. We left 7 o'clock. They're back in at seven, eight, so you spend most of it in the market. But it's fun, it's lovely, I love doing it. You know, they're fishing and then I do some ice fishing. But you know, somehow I don't like out there. You know, journey too long and too long, sir. <laughs> so I decided, well, the best thing I do is I clean some fish and then I went into selling some fish. This life, the fishing, selling, or fish, fishermen, or you can't complain. You got your ups and downs, you got your days. Some days you won't get nothing, some days you'll get, but at the end of the day, you know, you get tanks and prizes. And you, you keep moving, you know? Putting his kids to school, building somewhere, you know, paying the bills, buying the food. It, it, did, it did well, it did well. Redman is one of the hundreds of men and women in the fishing industry whose roles are important to the nation and also indirectly impacts the tourism sector. Okay, we sell um, shark, we sell marlin, we sell tuna, sword. Swordfish, kingfish, billfish, snapper, potfish, lobster, sea cat, conk, therapy. Basically, all we sell. Oh, we try to get all, so when you come, you won't be disappointed. You gotta leave with something. <laughs> something you're looking for, you gotta leave with it. So we try to get everything what is available, so that when the customers come, they can have what they want. We deal with basically everybody. We deal with English, we deal with an American, we deal with Chinese, everybody comes in. We got repeat visitors and we got clientele in the States, we got clientele in England, people who comes in straight off the plane, straight away man, <laughs> to get their fish. They really need some fish, eat, fresh fish. Going to the market for fresh fish has long been a part of Beijing culture and people have their particular vendor that they have been going to for years. I met Red Man through my mom who has been his customer for some time. His laid-back and accommodating approach keeps people coming back for more. I love the customer, they love the show people love, give them a good service and fish, nice fish, they keep coming back all the time. And I got a lot of mother daughters that come to me, you know, yeah. It's, you know, you treat the customer, you treat the customer nice, they come back, they send somebody as well. So there you have it guys, a snapshot of one of the many important vendors in the fishing industry that serves this country so well. So the next time you're in the mood for some fresh fish, make sure you head to one of the seven markets on the island, including this one here in Oystens. Check out Redman or any of the vendors here and get your catch of the day. I'm your Beijing tourist, Natasha King. This is BT Travel and we'll see you next time.